Nice to have you backstage as we put this pandemic puzzle together. A couple of the major pieces are health equity and inclusiveness. To that effect, we asked some of our experts what it will take to get everyone to the table to recover from COVID-19. You know, stakeholder engagement is critical. Let's bring parents, educators, students, civil rights voices, disability rights to the table and give them an opportunity to weigh in. Inclusivity is number one. I think it like put a light on the inequalities and inequities. We knew it ex they existed, but sort of they got like amplified. It's important to bring people to the table. And if we don't do it, it may be like too late. And so when we build learning networks and when we are working uh, with families, they have to be co-creators of the scope of work, understanding what we are trying to do. Um, our system broke altogether. It was breaking um, down to begin with, but it is altogether broken now. And so we have an opportunity to rebuild and we must do so in thinking about the needs of the most vulnerable patients. If we do that, we will have a better system for everyone. You have countries like the U.S. or Italy, who's been the head of the G20, or, you know, the U.K., who's led the G7, each struggling in their own right. I think it's going to take really thinking differently about leadership and power and access. And showing them exactly um, where, they, where they fit in um, to the puzzle. We need everyone around the table in order to solve the issues. In many communities, as we showed up with a vaccination campaign, people rightly said, vaccine, where have you been? Right, we have been struggling here with lack of housing. So you show up and you acknowledge the lived reality for people and say, yeah, it's COVID-19, it's a pandemic. We have the tools, we wanna make sure everybody can benefit from this scientific discovery. And also we're gonna have those listening moments and those action follow-ups, they do think we're at this moment of transformation.